In this video, I'm going to show you the most overpowered pass rush in Madden 23. What's going on, guys? My name is Cody. Just want to welcome you here to the YouTube channel. We just dropped a mini scheme for our Patreon members on the Dime 23. It used to be called the Dime 236. This is in the Baltimore Ravens defensive playbook. And if you want to check out that entire defensive scheme, make sure that you join our Patreon. Now, the beauty of our Patreon is that you get everything with that. You get all of our ebooks as well as our mini schemes schemes or pro tips or little emergency videos that we have to do just kind of more conceptual and we're teaching you in this video how to basically capitalize on two new players that came into Madden Ultimate Team that get the edge threat ability so I loaded up the chargers here and I'm just going to show you kind of a preview of the defense but I'm also going to talk about our match defense as well and my favorite way to play match coverage just pick it up you can play it against anybody in the game so you see here I'm going to put my zone coverage set to match and we're going to come out, and I think this is probably the safest ma match coverage defense in the entire game. It's easy to use her out of this, and it's easy to adapt this coverage to really anything that you need. And the coverage is cover six, show two. Now, again, we're in the dime two, three in the Baltimore Ravens defensive playbook. You want to put your best pass rushers on the outside. For us, that's going to be Khalil Mack and Joey Bosa. In Mutt, that's where I put Bruce Smith. And that's where I put Lawrence Taylor, and they both have edge threat. And you're going to see how good this defense is. Now, in the actual mini scheme, we teach you some really valuable tips about why edge threat works in some formations, why it doesn't work in other formations, how to make it be better. And what you're going to see in this one right here is uh, a great way to do that with our match defense. So what we're going to do here is just going to basically show you this coverage. The beauty of cover six is we're going to use her on this vertical hook, which is typically on the running back side. Now, we have a couple decisions we can do. We know that man coverage is really effective this year. So if we wanted to cross man or do anything like that, we certainly could. But I just literally like to go ahead and use her just like this. And what you're going to see is our edge threats are going to go crazy in this defense. And you're going to see that we're getting actually really good match principle within this defense. And the beauty is this is going to always be able to protect your user because the vertical hook really doesn't have a massive responsibility in the cover six defense. Now, what you're going to see right here is if you just take a look at this coverage, you're going to notice that this deep half on the left side is just as good as it was last year. It's going to match those deep posts just like that. And he's going to drive on that ball and give you an opportunity to make a interception. Now, why match coverage is so powerful is because it adapts to the routes that your opponent puts on the field. So for example, if I was to run a corner route and a fade and a out route, the coverage itself will adapt to that. So you'll see right here, I'm going to go ahead and set up my defense and you're going to notice that our edge starts are consistently going crazy in this defense and they don't have a lot of time to hit those deeper developing patterns. Yet another reason why the match coverage is so good, because if you know anything about match coverage, in order to beat it, you typically need to set up a bomb concept. And that requires time. And in this year's game, with the pass rush and the tip that we give in our Patreon about how to absolutely make your edge threats go absolutely nuts, you're going to notice that um, this is going to be very difficult to consistently bomb because they're literally not going to have time. This is my favorite defense right now. It's kind of an expansion of our Big Nickel. We did release a full defensive ebook on Big Nickel over G as well. You'll get that by becoming a Patreon member. Uh, but this Dime236 mini scheme is is super glitchy, super effective, primarily because of the pass rush principles that are within the formation. So if you want to learn how to run this scheme, how to stop the run out of it, how to get the best pass rush that you can possibly get out of it, how to uh, actually blitz out of it if you don't just want to rely on your four down lineman sheds, this formation actually has uh, arguably the best blitzing uh, concepts in the entire game. And also the other beauty of this formation, I want to close this video with showing you this, this formation has something that not a lot of formations have in Madden 23. If you go to your audibles, you're going to notice that we have all of the match coverages. We have press quarters. We have cover four palms, which they removed from almost every nickel set except for big nickel over G, which is why I think big nickel over G is arguably the best defense of the game as well. These two together are, in my opinion, the top two right now um, because of the fact that they can you can do everything coverage wise that you need to do um, and you also get great pass rush and the big part is you have great run support um, so it's just a great little uh, defense but anyways we have cover four palms cover four quarters we also if you take a look here have our cover six 
and we have cover nine as well as cover six invert. These are all match concepts that you need to have if you're going to run a match defensive scheme. Not to mention, we also have cover three match, cover three buzz match, cover two sync. Uh, we have double safety blitzes. We have um, overstorm brave, different plays like this. And this is honestly, I think, one of the most complete formations from a play perspective. Most of the nickel sets this year don't have all of the things that this has and to to, uh, to boot with this as well um, it also has the best pass rush in the game the best stock four down lineman pass rush in the game which we teach you how to maximize in the patreon mini scheme so if you want to get access to that again by becoming a patreon member for just 10 bucks you get access to all the ebooks all the mini schemes all the exclusive tips that we have over there and uh, i just have to say this is an absolutely insane defense so if you want to check it out make sure you join by clicking the link down in the description below it'll take you over you can get signed up super fast and you'll be able to check out this mini scheme thanks for watching and we hope to see you over at the patreon